Hello everybody, uh, it's Nick Dutch back on the camera, well not in this particular case, but I'm back again one more time. And I want to draw your attention to a couple of photographs here, well the first one is the most important one. The description here says English magical sigil or device. This magical sigil was found in the Devil's Dyke, Cambridgeshire, and given to the Ashmolean Museum by Sir Francis Palgrave, who was from 1788 to 1861, at some dates between the 1836 and 1861. It probably dates from the 16th century. Okay, and remember the use of the words in this particular, um, you know, exhibit. It says magical sigil or device. Now the word sigil we use an awful lot in modern day uh, occultism to mean a image which has some variety of assumed power or importance. Now if you were to, I know it's not a very good photograph, but if you were to be able to zoom in on it, you would notice there's a pentagram in the middle and then there's a multi-rayed star made of geometrical figures around the outside. There's other symbols which you would be familiar with, astrological and all the rest of that associated with the meaning of that particular symbol. In many ways, despite the fact it goes back to the 16th century, okay, the kind of like medieval, rough, roughly I think it's the medieval period, it's actually quite modern because the symbols you see on that particular pattern are used in 21st century spiritualism and occultism. And that's quite interesting. It would imply to us that some kinds of traditions are being continued over time, which might give some people a nice warm fuzzy feeling inside their hearts. But on the other hand, is that necessarily uh, an attractive proposition? Now, if you move to uh, the next image on this slide, uh, which has a little bit more importance to the 21st century. It's a form of astrolabe, it's used for navigation, working out where you are, and also mapping the heavens. This shows a progression of understanding, uh, if you think about that, because essentially science has provided us with the ability to get more uh, information about the way the world works. It has inspired us and taught us how to assess information. Okay, so that's a quite an interesting one. And of course, the subsequent images that I've got here, they uh, also demonstrate the change in reasoning ability that people have had over time. Uh, one of these images here, I'm not quite sure if it's come up on your screen just yet. It looks like a, a long white cylinder with markings on it. It is in fact a very complex slide rule or early mathematical device, um, I, I guess very similar to your electronic calculator, but working upon a mechanical principle and also distance measurements over uh, the surface and correlation between various different scales. It's a way in which we, we as a species have to try to understand the way that the world works. Now. When you think about the first photograph in this particular sequence, you may think it's somehow worthwhile to believe the same way as the original people who created the magical signal or device in the 16th century. There are traditionalists within the occult movements who think that you're only following the tradition if you think the same way as people used to a long time ago. To me, this is preposterous, it's stupid, it's undesirable, and it is backward. There's nothing wrong in my, uh, in my estimation of using symbolism or symbology, depending upon you know, how you want to use the word, from different cultures and different time periods. But we need to advance the way in which we think about the apparent or alleged results which come from these things using modern day thought. If you don't, then essentially what you personally are trying to become is someone who is seeing the world in a very primitive way and is not actually advancing or evolving or developing the way in which you understand the way the world works. So I regard that as a form of intellectual blasphemy. I regard it as being sinful in some manner because it's a desire to prevent advances in both science and thought. 
By all means, use symbolism from a wide variety of different cultures, but try and apply the thinking from the 21st century.